I grew up in a Christian family and I remember giving my heart to God when I was five and it was just such a huge, memorable, impacting moment that it's, it just stuck with me, even at that such a young age. And I guess like so often the story goes that I kind of hit 17 and 18 and, and just gradually it kind of snuck up on me but I just started living my own life. I was still what I guess I thought would be a good person, like that would be good enough. I moved over to London and I worked in London for a couple of years. I had a great time, I got to travel around the world and I guess there was still always that kind of nagging, something still not, still not quite filling that just desire I have, I still didn't feel complete. Obviously it must have just broken my mum's heart. My poor mum, I must have rejected her ten times. <laughs> she was. You know, drop hints about, oh, the, the ladies at church are doing cooking for the Alpha course. Have I told you about the Alpha course? Or she'd leave a brochure out on the table when I came over to visit. Almost get quite frustrated at her. Just be like, oh, mum, I'm not, I'm not interested. I, I, stop inviting me, stop asking me. And she kind of just quietly persisted, no matter how many times I rolled my eyes at her. And I remember I was on the subway. Someone had an Alpha brochure, and I remember just looking at it and thinking, I know that that's something safe. I know that that's something that fitted in with my sort of Christian values and understanding and all mum's persistence finally paid off. By her inviting me and inviting me, um, those seeds were planted and when I was actually ready, it was on the other side of the world from her. It was really different from what I expected. It was really easy and it was really non-judgmental and I was sitting at a, a table of other like-minded people and there was a real freedom just to ask the questions you wanted to ask. Genuine, interested conversations without any of those limits around them. The Holy Spirit weekend away, I went really desperately wanting to have an encounter with this incredible great big God. God says that when you knock, He's there and my goodness He was so there and it was just one of the most powerful and beautiful experiences of my life. I went back to work on the Monday and I just, I must have been smiling, I suppose. It was pretty amazing. And I remember the ladies at work said to me, oh, you look different. Have you done something different? Have you cut your hair? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and they said, oh, have you met someone? And like, I think back now, and it's quite comical, but I remember just going, I've met Jesus. <laughs> and for me, it was really cool that I even looked different to them. You know, he'd replaced something in me and, and I was filled with this new joy. My now husband and I had been together for about six years, I think, prior to us separating me moving to London. And we just thought, you know, let's just, we'll have a clean break. We'll go our separate ways. And I can look back through some of my diary entries that were around the time and just praying for Stacey, just praying that God would touch his life. And unbeknownst to me, <laughs> God was pursuing Stacey as well at the same time. Prior to this, we'd been living this life that was, was not going to be what it was planned to be. And so God had to move us to separate parts of the world, opposite ends of the world, and then He pursued us and He claimed us both separately to be His, and He was able to put us back together and for us to discover that we were soulmates and, you know, we got that happily ever after. Even if you think it's not for you or it's not the right time, you know, there's no expectation, there's no pressure. Just go and ask those tricky questions or, you know, bring up those difficult conversations. The thing that always comes back to me is, is the, the message for those people doing the inviting. Like, don't, don't feel disheartened. Keep asking because you don't know how God will use that seed in the future. Maybe it might be next alpha or maybe it might be 12 years down the track in another country.